go when I go in home. This feeling I can't live without. It's a shame on me. I'm a fool for the melody. This is our party, and this is where the beat goes down. What's up guys, take the new video. In this today I'd like to talk about the UB Plus S1 Circle. Don't worry, there will be a video about the double bass. So this big boy with those big passive radiators. But that's a thing for another video. So the speaker is pretty special because it's not really out yet. It still needs to be put online or Kickstarter for example. And yeah, UB Plus was very kind to send this out. And really, I can test it out a lot of time. But I decided to make this video now because I've tested all the things of the speaker. Also battery life I test out now and there are a few things I like to say about it. Let's get started about the audio quality. So the bass performance is something I really was surprised about. It sounds deep, really deep. And also the bass kicks pretty well. And especially for a Bluetooth speaker this size, it's pretty impressive. I even prefer it over bigger Bluetooth speakers. So does this mean it's perfect? Not really. It has two tweeters here on top and some big midwoofers which also do the bass performance. And on the front and on the back, the openings you see is the air opening for the passive radiators. So this does help with the bass performance because if you put the speaker like the opposite way, but also like with the backside backfiring to a wall, for example, it performs pretty well. So the audio side, I'm really surprised about it because it tuned very well and it all sounds pretty well. One thing I may can complain about a little bit is the loudness. It's not like the loudest speaker I've heard. It's not like silent, don't get me wrong, it has some volume. But I have seen other speakers go much louder. I do notice that if you put the max volume, there is no distortion. So that's also pretty good. So what is it? Do you really want some decibels of more loudness? Or do you want a pretty okay loudspeaker with no distortion? I do still think prefer the second thing but some people would also sometimes need a big loudness speaker so this is really for quality so as meant before it's a great sound and it also has a decent battery life i did do it on around 78 percent and then the battery really lasted around eight nine hours on my music that i listened till it was really dead so that's a good number because most speakers don't even reach around 50 percent of the claimed battery life on 50 percent volume so it's a decent performance and something i really do think is pretty great about this design is that it has some fabric it has some like leather strap but also it's futuristic and yeah this is the blue color which does look maybe a little bit too hyped or childish but don't worry you also have like black even darker blue and also gray colors so yeah you can go every side if you want to so Without further ado, I want to let you guys see some audio samples, some that I record here in this room where I'm now recording this video, but also a few samples in the living room down here because that room is a lot bigger, so the audio can also produce more with the volume. So without further ado, here are some samples.
for some audio testing, I can definitely say Mini but Mighty. It's really a powerful housing. It's just that maybe the volume could have been a bit higher, with maybe minimal distortion for some people that would like to have something that's loud sometimes, really loud. Don't get me wrong, it's not silence, really not. It has a lot of volume, but you know what I mean. Some Bluetooth speakers does have like a push up or if you want to hear some more audio. But it's definitely mighty because the power performance, the bass performance, the battery performance, but also over treble and mid tones are pretty good. The only complaint I could say is that the tweeters have been placed a little bit too high for some use. So this means that if you put the speaker like straight in front of you, the tweeters are okay directed. But if you have like the speaker a little bit more higher up, the tweeters are really up firing. So the best scenario for the speaker is to just have it on normal table. That's not much higher than yourself. And then the audio is pretty nice. I really, I'm still happy with it. So in the next video, double bass will be on its way. And this speaker is completely different actually. It has a really a front firing treble uh, tweeter, but also mids. Because it's a big tweeter, it's also producing mid tones. And on the need, you have like the big subwoofer which also powering the passive radiators and this two can really move a lot really and yeah you can see it they're pretty tight so i will not spoil too much in this video but yeah this is really also pretty cool but this also <laughs> it's yeah they are great some people would complain about the copying design of some dvla speakers for example and this one also has some designs of some other brands but <sighs> honestly it's hard to really make something and not copy too much. I've seen it with the ABL in the past, also with Sony, and even DVLA also has like copied some things in the past, so don't get me wrong. I don't approve like copying 100% of somebody, but if you are like using this kind of design, do it good. And yeah, UB is doing pretty good design overall with quality. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys in the next one.